everybody, it is Fiesta time in San Antonio and we are at a great place to spend yours, the Courtyard at Zinc, a beautiful venue any time of the year. And I'm with the executive chef, Robbie Nolan, and we're talking quesadillas. We are, we're talking Fiesta, we're talking San Antonio, and we have three different flavors of quesadillas that are very conducive to San Antonio needs of, during the whole year. But specifically for fiesta, yeah, and these are, it's awesome. I mean, yeah. you can go out and get them. But if this is if you're doing a party, a lot of people have parties in their backyard, you know, for fiesta. Absolutely, this is a great thing to make. Big crowd pleaser and so it easy. is, and it's easy to do at the house. Uh, you yeah. know, and we do it at the restaurants for fun occasions and specials as well. So it's a good thing. Okay, so these are not your ordinary quesadillas. They're not. They're not. We have three different ones this, this evening. Um, the first one, my sous chef Knox is going to help us build them. Um, is going to be a braised short rib, and so what we do is. We're gonna put some uh, Oaxacan cheese here that we've mixed with cumin and a blackening spice that Boudreaux is very known for, um, particularly in their prime rib. And so we use the same kind of meat, which is beef. We did a braised short rib here. And then we're gonna put peppers, onions uh, that have been sauteed with a little bit of salt and pepper and olive oil Love that. right on top. And then we're gonna top with a little bit more cheese. And so now we're just gonna fold it in half and that'll be ready to go onto the grill. Okay, next one. The next one we're gonna do, which is a fun one, is very French. So we're gonna stay with the same cheese, okay? So we have cumin here, black any spice, the Oaxacan uh, queso fresco, if you will. And then we're gonna put a little bit of, the, of cassoulet beans. These oh, beans have been wow. cooked with uh, andouille sausage, bacon, um, a bit of veal stock and a bit of chicken stock. And then on top of it, which is really cool, we're gonna put some duck confit, which we shredded. And we cooked the duck confit for four and a half hours at 230 degrees in duck fat. It's been cured for a day, it's beautiful. Yum. Um, and then we're gonna top a little bit more cheese and keep it at that. So it's very simple. It's got the sausages, the beans, the cheese, and the duck confit. And we're gonna close that one up as well. All right. The third one, um, but this is my favorite quesadilla of the evening. And so we're gonna have the exact same cheese again, right? And we're gonna to top it with an escavetch. So we have, we have pickles. We have serrano peppers and red onions that we pickled, lightly in red wine vinegar, a bit of sugar, a bit of salt, and some water and we're gonna place that in there with some of the sauteed peppers and onions as well. I think we're gonna top it with a bit more of the cheese, and then Chef Knox will go ahead and fold that over. Clarified butter, and this is gonna help uh, get the crispiness that we want for quesadillas. So we're gonna put one of each. I like to put them down yeah. in the butter and then immediately flip them. It's the same way I treat like a, a grilled cheese sandwich. And so the point of that is to, to have the absorption of, of, of the butter on both sides. So drag it in that butter again. Yep, and then flip it and we'll put that guy there too. Perfect. All right, flip them over. Oh, look nice at that. Nice and golden. Yeah, and you like a little bit of crisp on them, you right? You do, you have to have that textural difference. Yeah. So I think, you know, having a crispy out, outside layer for the quesadillas is very important. You know, and that clarified butter helps it. If you don't have clarified butter at home, if you don't want to make it, you can yeah. do a, a, a canola olive oil blend. You Something know? with a very high heat high, point, yeah, right? High, yeah, exactly, high smoke point. And, and so like, when we flip them, you can feel with your hands, that, that crunchiness, and so oh, yeah. that ensures that you're gonna have a textural difference of cheese to meat to pepper to crunch of the tortilla ratio, and that is is, is what San Antonio quesadilla is all about. The perfect quesadilla. Absolutely. All right, time to dig in. This has a special salsa too, right? Yeah, so Boudreaux does a salsa where we roast the tomatoes, and to me, the heat of a salsa means everything. It's not too spicy, it's not too subtle, and it's just True. perfect, so I think we should do it. Tanji? Let's do it. Chef? Go for it. Mmm. So good. The duck. Mmm. Duck confit quesadilla. I love it. It's see?